Okay, it's exactly 10 to 9. Uh, Going to have a little bit, bit of music now. The front man of US rock band Blue October, Justin Furstenfeld, has been facing struggles in his life from drug and alcohol addiction to suicide thoughts. And he's with us now. He's promoting positive mental health through his music. The band uh, Blue October currently touring for the release of their new album. And let's hear some of uh, their music. <laughs> Uh, well, here is Justin. Justin was just saying they're, they're your children in that music video there. Yeah, I'm, I'm so proud of those kids. Yeah, those <laughs> are my kids, and it's my wife and my family in that video. I'm yeah. so proud of it. Yeah. It's interesting because you have a documentary coming out talking about the various battles you've had throughout your lifetime and how nice that it ends with those lovely children and a wife. And I'm so blessed and so grateful today as I sit on your show. Um, if you would have listened to my music 10 years ago, you would have been like, wow, this guy needs some help. You know, um, I've always dealt with depression my whole life. I've always dealt with anxiety, um, things like that, mental health struggles. Um, but I truly found my personal uh, cure was um, in my sobriety. Mm -hmm. um, I decided uh, six and a half years ago to try sobriety take the alcohol and the drugs out of the situation, no matter what it was, anything that would dilute my mind, anything that would pollute my mind to, um, because if you have mental problems in the first place, um, adding to it isn't going to help any. So I wanted to be as healthy as I possibly can. And what I found is that I was going to give it a couple months just to see, because I'm a rocker. Come on. <laughs> you know? So I, much you know? temptation put you in your heart. Come on. But I gave it two months and I kind of liked who I saw. And I gave it six months. and Because you felt good, right? And I gave it a year. Now I'm on six six years, and life is so wow. good. Wow, well, congratulations. so good. Yeah, a lot of respect. Oh, thanks. Um, during your, your deepest, darkest times, I mean, was it constant or was it up and down? It was constant, but that was because I never took the proactive uh, choice in, in really concentrating on how to, to fight it, uh, getting healthy working out serotonin levels go up when you get outside and you and you go running go jogging be around people mm -hmm. positive people it also had to deal with a lot of the the factors of, of who i led in my life mm -hmm. negative people you know get them out also i take my medication every was that clear to you I, that wasn't clear back then i just thought i i it was just me living in this 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 endless tornado of turmoil and I didn't take my medication on time. I, I didn't take that seriously. When the doctor says, take your Paxil every morning, you take your Paxil every morning. When they say, eat right, you eat right. When they say, don't do drugs, don't do drugs. When they say, don't, a hangover won't help your depression. Don't drink. It's, it's really simple. It's interesting, isn't it? Because as a, 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 a working musician, touring a lot in the studio a lot it can be quite isolating and you talk there about the temptations right. that, that were along the way how do you navigate that because you're touring at the moment you've got this new album coming out so there are constant pressures around you that could drag you back yeah but you look at those beautiful kids on that screen mm. and you look at the craft of a songwriter and then you look at just eh, i could go back oh it's so dramatic of course you could but that's what life's about. We're, we're meant to be on earth to be happy, joyous, and free. That's the point of being on this earth. Anything else, we just mess with it. Happy, joyous, and free. Mm -hmm. So why would I go back if I feel so beautiful and passionate <laughs> about this life? How would you say your music's changed since that time? Then? It's become a craft. It's become an art form. It's not just a brain fart that turns into a song. It's become a, a, a way of life for me. I can start at 9 a.m. and finish at 5 p.m. and I have completed an idea and a beautiful thought. My songwriting has gotten better. I'm more positive about life. Well, you're, you're not doing 9 to 5 at the moment because you're out on tour. You're yeah. at the uh, Shepherd's Bush Empire. Um, well, it's now the O2, is it? The Shepherd's Bush O2 this weekend and you're heading out around the UK. Documentary coming out this year and your album aptly titled I Hope You're Happy. Um, Justin, thank you so much for coming in to talk to us thank about it. Thank you so much, guys. And, and keep up the positivity. Hey, we love it. We love it. That's what life's about. We're going to try and keep the good sunny vibes going. That's We're right. relying on Isabel with the weather for that. <laughs>